Oscar Ramon Neo, the fourth Archbishop of Salvador, San Salvador. He spoke out against poverty, social injustice, assassinations and torture. Oscar was born 15, 15th of August 1917 and grew up with some of his five brothers and two sisters, Gustavo, Za Zavida, Romono, Mamatu, Arnodu, and Gaspar and Amita, who died shortly after birth. Romeo uh, educated, not ed entered the local public school of the area he lived in, which offered only years one through three. When uh, finished at the public school, he was then privately tutored by a teacher until the age of 13. During this time, Oscar's father trained him in carpentry. 1939, World War II starts. In his pres a priesthood, Romo Eo entered the minor cement seminary in San Miguel at the age of 13. He left the seminary for three months to return home while his mother became ill after the birth of her eighth child. During this time, he worked with two of his brothers in a gold mine near Shidad ba Barriso. He completed his studies at the Gregorgan University in Rome. This is where he received a lic licitate or licensing in theology and 1943 and in 1943 but Oscar had to wait another year to be ordained because he was younger than the required age he was then ordained in Rome on the 4th of April 1942 his family could not attend his ordination because of uh, travel restrictions due to the ongoing World War. Before finishing in 1943, at the age of 26, he was summoned back home from Italy by his bishop. He travelled home with a good friend, Father Vallestas, who uh, w was also doing a doctoral work, was also doing doctoral work in Rome. On route, on the route home, they made stops in Spain and Cuba, where they were detained in detained by Cuban police, perhaps for having come from a fas, fas fascist. Italy, fascism being an authority, authoritarian and nationalistic right-wing system of government and uh, social organisation, and uh, were placed in a series of internment camps. After several months in prison, Valadores, Valadez became sick and uh, priests of the congregation of the Most Holy Redeemer helped to have the two transferred to hospital. 
from the hospital they were released from Cuban custody and sailed on to Mexico. They travelled overland to El Salvador. 1945, World War II ended. The next period of Oscar's life was him being an archbishop. On 23, on the 23rd of February 1973, Oscar was appointed Archbishop of San Salvador. In 1979, the revolutionary government Janta became came to power along with a wave of human rights abuses by parliamentary white right-wing groups and the government in an escala and the government in an escalation or growth of violence that would become the Salvadorian civil war Oscar criticized the United States for giving military aid to the new government and wrote to the president and wrote to President Jimmy Carter in February 1980, warning that increased U.S. military aid would, quote, undoubtedly sharpen the injustice and the political repression inflicted on the organized people whose struggles have has been for their most basic of of their most basic human rights end quote president carter ignored oscar's pleas and continu continued military aid to the salvadorian government as of the result of his humanitarian efforts romonio began to be noticed internationally. In February 1980, he was given a honorable doctorate by the University of Louvain. Then came 1980. Oscar was assassinated. He was offering mass in the chapel of uh, the hospital of uh, divine provident providence his funeral oscar was buried in the metropolitan cathedral of san salvador cathedral metropolitana di san salvador the funeral mass was on the 30th of March 1980 in San Salvador. It was attended by more than 250,000 mourners from all over the world internationally. In 1997, Paul John, Pope John Paul II, Pope John Paul II, bestowed upon Oscar the title of Servant of God and cause and a cause for blessing and canonization. The process of being made a saint was opened for him. In 2010, the United Nations General Assembly proclaimed, proclaimed the 24th of March as being the International Day for the Right to the Truth Concerning Gross Human Right Violations and for the Dignity of Victims in recognition of the role of the Archbishop Oscar Romonio in defence of human rights. 
He actively denounced violations of human rights of the most vulnerable people and defended the principles of protecting lives, promoting human dignity and opposition to all forms of violence. He was declared a martyr by Pope Francis on the 3rd of February 2015, paving his way his beneficiary Benefician, which took place on the 23rd of May 2015.